Hi, good morning, and welcome to this week's edition of Encompass Live. I am your host, Krista Porter, here at the Nebraska Library Commission. Uh, Encompass Live is the Commission's weekly online event. Uh, we're a webinar, a webcast, online show, uh, whatever uh, terminology you use to describe these things. Um, we are here live online every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. Uh, if you are unable to join us on Wednesday mornings, that's fine. You can always watch our recordings later. They are posted onto our website. Um, our, both our live show and our recordings are free and open to anyone to watch and listen to, so um, please do share them with your uh, friends, neighbors, family, colleagues, anyone who you might think might be interested in any of the topics that we um, share here on the show. Um, we do do a mixture of things here on the show, uh, book reviews, interviews, mini training sessions, demos, basically uh, anything library related. Um, goes on our show. We are, that is about the limit to our um, restrictions and requirements. Is it something to do with libraries, something libraries are doing, um, all types of libraries, uh, public school, academic, museum, whatever, special, um, something they're doing, something they're interested in, something they might be wanting to do. Uh, some of our topics might seem a little uh, out of the a little um, confusing or out of the box, but that's just because, you know, but trust us, you know, everything always comes around to libraries in the end. Um, we do have Nebraska Library Commission staff that sometimes um, are on the show to talk about things that we are doing here in Nebraska or things um, regionally, but we also bring in guest speakers, and um, that is uh, what we have today. We have a group of people on the line from all across the country, actually. <laughs> um, today our topic is, as you can see on the screen here, um, the Wikipedia Library and this the campaign they're doing this year for the second year in a row, the one live, one raft. And actually, I should ask: Is it, and we had one of us? We had a discussion about this. Is it one live or one lib? Pronunciation. Um, <laughs> hi. So this is Alex Stenson. Yeah. Uh, I work at the Wikimedia Foundation. I support the Wikipedia Library Program. And one lib, one. I call it one lib, one ref. Uh, one live, That's one ref. <laughs> um, one lib, one ref. But, okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, on the line with us, we have a group of people, as I said, uh, Alex Stinson, who's, as he said, with the Wikimedia Foundation, and um, four other, uh, what he calls wiki librarians are with us as well. And actually, what I think we'll do is you guys can introduce yourself as you come up to your parts, um, or Alex can, however you guys um, feel to do that. Um, I'll just hand it over to you, Alex, to um, explain what's going on with this, um, with Wikipedia and librarians. Yeah, um, so I actually want to give everyone the opportunity to put their voices with names uh, before I kind of dive in. So if sure, you want to go ahead. around. So Jessamine. Or oh, sorry. okay. I'm uh, Jessamine West. Uh, till recently I was working with the Internet Archives Open Library Project, and I'm just, for the sake of this, an enthusiastic volunteer, though I do serve on the Wikimedia Foundation's advisory board. Phoebe Irm. Phoebe. Yeah, so I'm Phoebe Ayers. Um, I'm a librarian at MIT Libraries and a longtime Wikipedian. Merrily. And I'm Merrily Prophet. I'm a program officer with OCLC Research. Um, I edit Wikipedia fairly lightly, I would say, but I'm an enthusiastic uh, proponent of um, librarians and Wikipedians working more closely together. And Kelly. I'm Kelly Doyle. I'm the Wikipedian in Residence for Gender Equity at West Virginia University. Cool. Um, so, uh, and uh, as I said, I'm Alex Densai. I work for the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, I part of my role is supporting kind of the global conversation between the Wikipedia community and the broader kind of. So Wikipedia is part of a group of projects called Wikimedia Projects, um, and that larger Wikimedia community. It really likes to work with cultural heritage institutions um, like libraries or museums, and, and it's because we kind of share a mission. Um, we share the goal of sharing knowledge, uh, and so uh, this one lib one ref campaign is uh, our annual way of reaching out to the library community and saying yes, we we care about citations too. Um, it, it grows out of conversation with Phoebe actually. Uh, about a two years ago now, year and a half, um, we were talking and we were saying, you know, Wikipedia is really interested in citations and librarians do a lot of reference work. And you know, we have that citation needed statement 
that uh, kind of tells people, hey, we need a reference here. Um, that's kind of like a reference question. And with that idea, uh, we, we ran off to uh, start this campaign last year um, with the tagline, imagine a world in which every librarian added one more reference to Wikipedia. Um, so the, the anchor to this conversation that we, we call one lib one ref um, is the adding that citation, that action of you know connecting the knowledge on Wikipedia, which anyone can edit, to expert material, um, to stuff that is normally curated by libraries. And so, but, but it's a little bit more. Uh, the campaign's deliberately designed to be radically decentralized um, and kind of distributed. Um, and open in that we want libraries to make one level one ref a conversation, um, a conversation about what it means for Wikipedia to exist and have like altered the knowledge ecosystem uh, that librarians are part of, um, but also to ask, you know, what are the ways we can contribute and partner and and be successful uh, allies. Um, I, I am not a librarian, so I can't speak to uh, kind of why it connects to experience as librarians, but that's why we have this great panel today, um, and who will be kind of talking about their experiences uh, related to wiki librarianship uh, and how, what it means to kind of merge those two worlds of kind of a very public knowledge platform and libraries. So I wanted to hand, this off, hand it off to uh, Jasmine to give you a demonstration of kind of what that core action, the citation, um, is for the campaign this year. Great. Thanks, Alex. Um, basically, what I wanted to do, uh, I'm interested in Wikipedia because I like helping make information sources better for people. And I live in rural Vermont. And one of the things that you sort of notice about Wikipedia the more you get into it is the articles that have the most interest tend to get the most attention. And so there's lots and lots of pages, say, for example, on the small towns of Vermont. And maybe there's no Wikipedia in there. Or maybe it hasn't attracted the interest of a Wikipedian that don't have a lot of information. Whereas you know, articles on Sonic the Hedgehog are huge and long and super uh, paid attention to. And so what I wanted to do was help kind of flesh out the parts of Wikipedia that maybe hadn't had as much attention. So I go scooting through the towns of Vermont pages make sure they're updated, that sort of thing. And that's what I do kind of for fun, I guess. And so one lib one ref to me is a great way to start a conversation with librarians who may not understand um, not even just kind of what Wikipedia is, because I think people understand what Wikipedia is, but how they can participate. And so the critiques people have of Wikipedia, some of which are valid and some of which are not, many of them can actually be addressed by people getting more involved, whatever that means. So individual people don't necessarily have to fix everything, but when somebody says, oh, I found something on Wikipedia that was blah, 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 not correct, not properly cited, not accurate, I'm like, well, you know, you can actually fix that. And one of the things I sort of try to do is sort of explain in simple terms how that works. And so what I'm going to do right now is just kind of show you, hey, if you want to participate in uh, one lib, one ref, what's an actual concrete thing you could do right now, spend five or 10 minutes and figure out a way to add a citation, people may think it's a lot more complicated than it is. So one of the things that's available on the One Live, One Rev, One Live, One Ref webpage is a link to this great tool called Citation Hunt. This is built by another volunteer and essentially what it does is it scans through all of the articles that have a citation needed link on it and puts them in this kind of super easy interface where you can click next, find a new one, click next, find a new one. And the addition, if you use this last year, is underneath it. Can people see my screen? Um, Could you zoom a little bit there, more? Sorry? Could you zoom in a little bit more to make it bigger? Um, will this do it? I don't have the ability, I don't have any tools on my end. Yeah, because it's, it's doing a screen sharing, so if you just make that, because it's showing your, showing your whole monitor, so if you made that mm -hmm. just bigger on your monitor, that would be make it the text bigger to everyone, if that makes sense. So whatever so you're doing. So if I change whatever, the resolution on my screen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you Sorry? Can it on, yeah, exactly. You can change the resolution of the zoom on your own screen, and it should zoom that in for people. 
Usually, a, all right. Give me a second. Usually, a control in in your browser. Usually, a control plus will make your oh, browser. Oh, just make the font bigger. Yep, that's yeah. perfect. There you go. Yes. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Terrific. Thank you. So, Citation Hunt, I've kind of queued it up with a particular thing to do a demonstration, but in the box at the bottom, if there's a thing you're really interested in, um, you know, ducks, uh, you can do a thing on the Anaheim Ducks, Donald Duck, there's two articles that need help, the Anaheim Ducks players, there's ten articles, maybe you're really into hockey, maybe you're really into duck breeds in China, you can not just get something handed to you, but pick one that's relevant to your interest. So I have one queued up just to sort of show as an example, it's an article on Chinese herbology and uh, the wolfberry. And I'm interested in this. I think I can find a citation for this. I can click the button that just says I got this and it just drops me in a page where it shows me what the citation is that's needed, which is right here. And again, I have sort of queued up the uh, citation that I found and I did some research and I found this book on herbal medicine, biomolecular and clinical aspects on Google by doing some searches and finding something that was accurate. Um, I can click the about this book to get a page that shows me what the stuff is. But now the, 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 the real trick is how do you actually add the citation? And you'll notice I'm logged into Wikipedia, though you can edit Wikipedia without being logged in. Uh, you can click edit on a section. You don't have to just edit the entire page. And then once you go in there, you see a lot of kind of Wikipedia uh, formatting, but what I'm going to do is remove the citation needed and under the cite button that's right up here, there's a whole bunch of templates that give you just fill in the blank boxes so that you don't have to learn wiki formatting, you don't have to do anything specific. I'm going to cite the book, I'm going to get this little pop-up and I've already sort of copied the information about the book in so that we can just uh, copy and paste it right in. And you can add sort of as much or as little information as you actually have access to. So you shouldn't feel that because this has, um, because this has all these boxes, you need to add all these boxes. So I'm just entering in Iris. The access date down in the corner is important so that people know when you actually checked out a source. The ISBN is also important because then you can get semantic linking. You'll see on the page when it comes out. And then I filled in sort of some of the stuff and then down at the bottom there's a ref name and what that's useful for is maybe there's one reference source that's good for citations in multiple places on a Wikipedia page. You can just add sort of the name of uh, the event or the author or whatever and then people can refer to that reference by only using the name. So I click insert, looks like gobbledygook but I think it's okay. I can take a look at the preview on this page and I'll plus 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 it so you can kind of see uh, what it looks like. And then I just get my little sort of citation looks okay here. This is only a preview. I'm going to add the one lib one ref tag and this is how we can actually keep track of the people uh, who are actually doing this. If you add a citation we would love it if you would include this. It helps us keep track. I click save changes. My edit was saved, and then I could sort of scroll down, or actually I'll just find it. And then right down there, it sort of slots it in with everything else. My citation, you can maybe see the little pop-up. And so now I've added a citation to Wikipedia, and I've been part of the OneLib, OneRef program. So other people are going to talk more about sort of other aspects of it, but I just wanted to tell people that adding a citation, not as complicated as you might think, and you should try it. Thank you. And um, if you've created a, a new uh, Wikipedia account recently, if you don't have an older one like Jessamine, uh we have a new tool called Visual Editor, um, which also provides a uh, little site button towards the top, which indicates um, a, a, a tool that you can drop a URL in and use it like Zotero um, to generate citations. Um, and it's, it's kind of a cool interface 
uh, and it also makes it easier. So whether you want to use the wiki text editing like Jasmine did, which is fairly simple, or the newer visual editor, there are ready tools built in that help you uh, kind of work with uh, the more standard Wikipedia citation formats. So. Super exciting. Yeah, and you can you can set a lot of those in the preferences of your account. I don't know if you can sort of still see my screen, but under editing, you can choose, I think it's under editing, you can choose whether you want to see the visual editor or the sort of clunky text editor, and there's a whole bunch of things under your preferences that can help make editing Wikipedia easier for you. And I believe it's under the beta features. It might be. Uh, but... As you get deeper and deeper into Wikipedia editing, there's all kinds of opportunities. Um, so maybe it's not. Yeah, and I started using a tool called Prove It, which is another kind of pop-up citation tool that just kind of hovers down in the corner. And when you're editing, it'll do all the sort of citation stuff for you as well. It's almost easier than the site thing. A lot of different ways to sort of get into this. Thank you, Jessamine. And I, I think. Sure. Phoebe was next on our conversation. Yeah, great. Thanks, Alex. So I wanted to step back a second. So we've spent maybe 10 minutes and showed you how to contribute to Wikipedia in that 10 minutes. And it is that simple. Um, but I wanted to step back and talk a little bit about why we might want to do this. So I've been working on Wikipedia for a long time now. Um, well over 10 years. Um, but I'm also an academic reference instruction and outreach librarian, and I'm a science and engineering librarian. And so I've spent a lot of time thinking about how those two things that I do work together. Um, and I think it's worth thinking about why, why we might spend any time working on Wikipedia when there's a million other competing demands on all of our time. Um, this is the largest reference source in the world. It's the most accessed reference source in the world. Um, your students use it, your professors use it, your researchers use it, your community members use it. Um, sometimes they use it without even realizing they're going to Wikipedia. If they do a Google search, the first hit or the sidebar in Google is often information that's drawn from Wikipedia. And uh, they're using it in over 200 languages. Um, Wikipedia has editions in um, all of the major world languages and, and many, many smaller ones as well. Um, and they're using it to find information about all kinds of topics. So trivia and pop culture, but also homework topics and medical topics and health information, but also uh, information about places they might visit um, or things related to learning new skills for a job. So this source, this website, in the last 16 years, we just celebrated our 16th birthday for Wikipedia um, this weekend, um, has over the last 16 years become this kind of go-to go-to thing for many, many purposes for hundreds of millions of people. And not very many people work on Wikipedia comparatively. So there's around 50,000 active editors in English at any given time. That's not very many people. And there's a lot to do. So there's a lot of citations to fill in. There's a lot of articles to write. There's a lot of information to keep updated. And one of the things about being a reference librarian, as those of you who are reference librarians will know, is I am perpetually looking up obscure things for people. So I'm an, I'm an engineering librarian by trade, science and engineering. Um, now I'm at MIT. I was in, in California for many years. And I help undergraduates, I help grad students, I help faculty research topics, and I am often getting things like review articles for them, or overview books, or encyclopedia entries for someone who needs to know the background about a particular topic. All of those things are good uh, sources for Wikipedia, and I try as I go to fold that information back in. I also edit things like articles about journals that um, I am involved in figuring out. Um, there are lots of library-related topics that are that need need some work. Um, 
and the thing is, Wikipedia is big. Um, Wikipedia is is very, very large, um, almost astonishingly large, five million articles in English. But it's still not nearly as big as the universe of sources that collectively we in libraries have uh, curated and um, brought together over the years. And so there's still a great deal that's missing in Wikipedia that could be improved. Almost every article could be improved in some way. The whole thing is a work in progress. And so I see our work as librarians really paralleling the work of Wikipedia in making sources available, getting information out, making information open and accessible um, online. Um, so I think I'll stop there and hand it over to Kelly, I think, right, who's, who's done a bunch of outreach on a college campus um, talking about how, how Wikipedia outreach can really tie in with instruction and student outreach as well. Kelly? Thanks, Phoebe. Um, so uh, as Phoebe said, I'm the Wikipedia in residence at uh, West Virginia University Libraries. Um, and like Alex, I'm not a librarian. My role is centered on outreach, um, and sort of making the library um, a hub for Wikipedia activity within the university community. Um, and further, a further subset of that um, is the gender aspect of my position um, and the gender gap on Wikipedia. So advocating on campus and among our librarians especially um, for, for adding citations and information to Wikipedia about the gender gap. Um, and last year, for example, during One Lib, One Ref, about 70 to 75% of our librarians created an account um, and added a reference. And that really jump-started um, the Wikipedia movement um, along with my position on campus and really um, gained a lot of a, attention within, um, within the community. Um, and so I think One Live, One Ref is something that, that can really help um, a campus community specifically really engage with Wikipedia um, and see it as sort of a valid space um, for conversations and research within, within the, the campus or within academia more broadly. Um, so if we're thinking about what a Wikipedia in residence is, um, it's really someone who's advocating, like I said, for all of these um, these different programs on campus. So getting instructors to think about how they can teach Wikipedia literacy, getting librarians to, to do the same, um, and also thinking about how students can be a part of working with librarians to, to add information to Wikipedia, but also just to use Wikipedia correctly to sort of follow the references and find then find those references in the library and sort of getting all of the the campus community to work together um, to use Wikipedia appropriately and, and do great research. Um, and some of the things that I've been able to land on is this really great service model, um, a partnership between librarians, instructors, and students to add to Wikipedia around the gender gap and other topics um, for service credit, which is something that's really exciting to think about um, folks uh, coming together as a community to add to Wikipedia and thinking about it as service or something for the public good, and that's really what it is. Um, and it's really exciting to, to see that grow. And I think, Marilee, were you next? I sure am. Hello, everybody. Um, so I'm here to talk about uh, what OCLC is doing and is planning for um, librarians in the coming months. Um, we hope that One Live, One Ref, One Live, One Ref, sorry, uh, is um, piqued your interest in what you can add and contribute to Wikipedia. Um, if you take the One Live, One Ref plunge, or maybe if you have already, you may be um, interested in learning more. And there's certainly a lot you can learn on your own. Many people have um, taught themselves or taught themselves in small groups. Um, but we have created what we hope is a really exciting opportunity for librarians, particularly for public, uh, those who work in public libraries. Um, this last summer we uh, got funding through the Night News Challenge uh, to design a program uh, to uh, an online program through Web Junction to teach uh, librarians how to 
um, understand, interact with, and design programming around Wikipedia. So this isn't just um, how to edit Wikipedia, it's basically how to, how to understand and get behind the scenes with Wikipedia. Um, if you go to this page um, at webjunction.org, uh, you can find out some more information about our project. There's also, if you scroll down on this page, uh, there is a sign up for more information link, and um, perfect. And uh, so if you go there and sign up uh, for more information, we'll be emailing people uh, probably about monthly. We just had our first little uh, email blast that went out this week. Um, to, uh, to, to give more information on the project to let you know when, uh, when we're available uh, to, to sign up. Uh, so we're tremendously excited about uh, this project and hope you are too and hope you want to um, keep an eye on it. This is the first uh, training program that's being done um, entirely online as opposed to in-person events. And it's also, I believe, the first training program, at least in the United States, that's, been, that's being designed from the bottom up, uh, particularly for librarians. And what we want to do is really uh, connect librarians. And we, we think that librarians are really ready-made Wikipedians. You are all Wikipedians without actually knowing it. Um, I think that you have a lot of the same um, mindset and uh, skills that successful Wikipedians have, um, and, and all you need is a little bit of a jump start uh, to be able to, to plunge in and be successful. And also, again, there's an emphasis on designing programs for your communities. Um, so uh, we think that that's a, that's a particularly um, exciting aspect to this. Um, I also want to mention that if you are participating in One Live, One Ref and attending uh, ALA Midwinter, um, we will have uh, One Live, One Ref um, stickers at the OCLC booth, so you can go to the OCLC booth. Um, just tell them that you're you're there to collect your sticker, and you can have a cool cool sticker, some swag to put on your your laptop or um, or, or what have you. So uh, so that's that's OCLC and and Web Junction and what we're doing for um, for the Wikipedia community and for the library community. Hey, Marilee, this is Krista. I do have a question about this. Um, yes, this, uh, the the this. Uh, training. Is there any extra cost for this, or this is just one of those things that's available for free through um, Web Junction as other things are? What a great question. This is a free program. Uh, so we received funding from the Knight Foundation and also from the Wikimedia Foundation uh, to help supplement with um, our Wikipedian and residents. And so this is uh, free and open to the library community. Uh, we're aiming to uh, scale up 500 librarians, so we hope to do this um, also at a scale that will make a difference and that will create a real uh, active cohort of wiki librarians. So um, anyone is, is welcome to join in. Mm -hmm. Thanks Great. for asking. Yeah, okay. And I just let everyone know, um, some of these, these websites that I've been showing and that Jessamine was showing uh, are going to be included in the show notes afterwards, as we always do every week here on Encompass Live. I've been uh, saving them all to our delicious account, so you don't have to worry about figuring out what these URLs are I've been going to. You'll have them all um, sent to you um, after the show. Um, it, yeah, it, and it's really great to have this group of wiki librarians together um, to talk about the kind of different angles of librarianship that are being tied to Wikipedia. Um, and I think one of the kind of core components of this is that like access to information and the broader literacy conversation. Um, so as both uh, Kelly and Phoebe were talking about, librarians have a kind of instinctive way of dealing with Wikipedia. They know that reading Wikipedia, going to the references, um, is the appropriate way to use it. It's a it's tertiary source, starts your research, kickstarts the deeper dive into library resources or other research materials. Um, but one of the kind of problems we more generally in how the public uses Wikipedia is they don't understand that. They don't they don't know what the footnotes are. Um, they don't know how the footnotes got there. Um, so part of our hope with this campaign is really give that bit of process. Um, and so that bit of process of understanding how it's made can make broader like understanding of research and literacy work because that's how Wikipedia works. Um, so I, I think uh, you know we all kind of touched on it but I wanted to emphasize that point. It's like Part of the reason we care 
that librarians know how to add to references is that we need to talk about those references. They're in a, like why Wikipedia has lasted and kind of proven itself as a as a tool. Um, uh, it, more broadly, we were also thinking at kind of global strategy. Um, so uh, if you could point out the IFLA tab. Um, one of the things that uh, we're noticing is that not only in the English language or the United States context are we seeing librarians become Wikipedians or contribute to our community, but we're actually seeing this globally. Um, so there's whole communities like in Catalonia and Spain where their public library network has said, yes, like we are committing to Wikipedia. Um, and because geography, language, and like stewarding culture overlap, um, with the Catalan language, like the impact of librarians on their kind of collective knowledge about their language, about their communities, about their culture, um, is being impacted by Catalan librarians deliberately doing the kind of programming that Merrily is hoping to teach folks about um, with the OCLC project. Um, so I, I think there's, uh, we've been working with IFLA uh, to highlight these kind of global examples. And uh, there's two we recently announced yesterday. Um, uh, two opportunity papers that have been endorsed by the IFLA board. So our hope is not only to give you the tools as librarians to like uh, start adding those citations and start contributing or understanding how to contribute to our community, but also to give you the institutional support um, that like library. Uh, it, it, the larger library community has validated, like, these are opportunities and they do change um, kind of our relationship to knowledge. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Alex, this is, this is Phoebe, and I wanted to, I wanted to build on, build on what you were just saying, just to point out to folks that one of the things that I've seen develop in the last 10 or 15 years is there are a lot of librarians all over the place who are involved in Wikipedia in one way or another, um, either contributing um, themselves or running events. So Kelly runs outreach opportunities at her campus. I have run many edit-a-thons where you just host an event, you book a room, you invite local Wikipedians in and people from your campus to learn how to edit and to work on articles for an afternoon. Um, we've done lots of those on our campus. Um, I know many public librarians who've done similar events. There's a lot of activity that you can that you can tap into and you're certainly not out there on your on your own if you start Gain interest in Wikipedia and want to want to learn more. Um, and you know, one of the things that is really um, compelling about Wikipedia and really fun is that uh, if there's something that needs doing, you can hop in and do it. You know, you don't need to be vetted by um, an editorial board. You don't need to get permission from anyone. You can be bold, as we say in the community, and and fix something that needs to be fixed. And um, that is very satisfying. Um, so I think that librarians both in the U.S. and all over the world, as you were just saying, have um, start really thinking about how we can work together with this massive collaborative project. Well, and one of the other things, this is Jessamine, uh, that got me um, participating early was actually just contributing content. I like to go out and take photographs of my neighborhoods and whatever, and uh, Wikipedia had a campaign, I think they just do it in the summer, uh, called uh, Wikipedia Loves Monuments or I don't even remember what the other one was, where they encouraged people with a kind of a very simple map and uploading process to add photographs of historic landmarks or things that came from a big database of what we need pictures of. And the process of just taking a photo, adding it to Wikipedia or Wikimedia Commons, and being able to link it immediately to an article and then having that picture be sort of the focal point of what it looks like that article is about is not only gratifying but again for small towns or maybe you've got a unique thing that you have photography about, know about, it's your particular interest area. You can actually share that content with the world and you know sort of become part of the knowledge base of whatever whatever that topic is. Lately what I do is I contact um, 
authors or like bit players on TV shows that I watch and I say, hey, you know, uh, I'm making a Wikipedia article about you. Can you send me a photograph and have some interesting conversations with people, not only just about getting a photograph of them online, which helps them, but uh, what Wikipedia is about and how people can make it better and where to find information and that there's real librarians working there, which I think is good for Wikipedia as, you know, kind of a rep level as well as being good for librarians as giving them another outlet for helping people get access to good information. All right. Um, so uh, does anybody have any questions um, right now? Uh, nobody's typed anything as, as you guys have been talking. <laughs> um, I think that people have been maybe very interested in what we've been talking about. I've, I've always been a huge user of Wikipedia. I know some, I know so some um, librarians or educators or in, in universities, it is um, vilified for, you know, how do you know it's right? What's out there? And that's the whole point of this program is that we can make everything right out there. Um, but I've always taught it as, and I think it's part of the education part of this, Wikipedia is just like when you used to, and it's, oh, I forget who was, somebody mentioned it being the, I think it was Alex about the re references and how we, that's what we do as librarians is get people started. Um, when, when I was in school, in elementary school, there was no internet, I'll call, I'll, I'll admit it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, and we had the encyclopedias in the library that you went to first to find out the basics of your topic, but you made sure you did not use any of that in the papers you wrote. Wikipedia is the same thing. It gets you started. Go down to teach scrolling to the bottom of that page and looking at those citations and finding the primary sources and and everything like that. So um, when you do a search, like you said, the first thing that's going to come up is going to be some Wikipedia on a basic topic. That's what's going to come up if you just do a Google search. So you really can't can't get away from it. I think participating in it uh, to make it better is uh, what it's what it's all about. Like um, being librarians. Um, I do have a question though that I think some people may be thinking about is, and I think you just mentioned that you can just anyone could just jump in there and put anything in. If you find you see something that's wrong, go in, fix it. Cool. What if there is some sort of um, self-editing, I guess, of all the Wikipedians that use it. You know, you may go in and put in some sort of citation for something, but what if some, what if somebody else says, well, actually, that's exactly right. Can you talk a little bit about that? That about the, you know, there's that um, the behind-the-scenes discussions that go on under some topics that you can sometimes see when you're looking at the different entries. I'd like the talk pages. Yeah. Yeah. Where people can say, well, Alex, well, the people who are editors are, or are experts on a topic can go, go, do go back and forth, discussing what should be the correct entry, what should, what it should say, and all of that. Is that something well, that you guys get involved in? One of the things that I've been in? doing in the one lib one ref uh, week, you know, I try and kind of pop in every day or whatever. This is Jessamine again. Mm -hmm. Is there's a talk page behind every page? So maybe you're mm -hmm. not sure about a thing, or maybe you want to change something, or maybe you, this happens to me occasionally. Maybe you try really hard and you can't find a citation for a citation needed thing, and you suspect. Maybe it's not accurate. Mm -hmm. The talk page is a place where you can have conversations with other people who are interested in that page. And what I sometimes do, if I really think maybe a, a, a piece of information may not be accurate or you know, is I'm having a hard time finding a site, is you can go to that page, start a topic, and say, you know, I'm having a hard time finding a, finding a citation for this. Can anybody sort of maybe somebody else could see if they could find one maybe this isn't true maybe we can have a conversation about it maybe the person who added it you know it's not accurate for people who aren't heavy into Wikipedia they may not know that there's a way to sort of keep track of pages you're interested in like a watch list any page that I've edited I can see what the status of that page is whether it's changed who's changed it that kind of thing yeah. and these talk pages are sort of an ongoing conversation between people who are interested in that topic and sometimes with a topic that I don't know that much about if I'm on Wikipedia because I'm trying to learn something you can read the article itself but then you can read the talk page to figure out kind of what the contentious points are what are the things that people go back and forth on there was one I remember there was a page that I read about um, 
uh, uh, you know, the, the wild boy of Avignon or whatever who lived in the woods and there's a whole feral children thing. And there was a lot of debate about whether to use the real names of some of these children because that's sort of a policy level decision and people discussed the Wikipedia policy and linked to the policy and talked about it and it actually helped me learn a lot more about how Wikipedia operates mm -hmm. and most people try to be cool most of the time. Sometimes these discussions can get a little hot, but most of the time it's people trying to share information and sort of achieve understanding in a slightly less formal way than just, I made an edit, you made a different edit, I'm going to make my edit again kind of thing. So I encourage gonna, people also to look at the it, talk yeah. pages. <laughs> yeah, to um, sort of see what the points are. And if you're having trouble with citations, you can actually just take something out and maybe ask for more information in order to put it back in and that's a completely appropriate way to use Wikipedia. It's not a work it's not in stone it's it's a, a growing changing organism all the time because of all that contribution and back and forth uh, between people. Well and yeah. part of the the value of Wikipedia it's kind of a it's a long term thing like we're we're shooting for that like hundred year project right you know mm -hmm. um, the changes happen right now but we're, we're building is something that needs to last. It needs to be like a monument to all this knowledge that we've collected. Um, and so I, I think there's, you know, some, we've kind of skirted a couple issues that I think are really relevant to like Kelly's work um, that are part of the reason why it's so good to talk with librarians too. Uh, so on Wikipedia we have a very well documented both gender gap in our contributors and in our uh, content. Uh, the less than 20% of our contributors are women, um, and there are similar systemic biases uh, throughout our content, uh, both in terms of who's contributing, but what's there. Um, and I think part of part of that has been, you know, it's the internet, and the people who've come to the internet are white men, uh, but it, early on. Um, but part of it is also this. Um, we, we don't have the communities that are professionally responsible and have created a balance in that knowledge ecosystem. And Kelly, would you like to kind of tease that out a little bit more? Sure. Um, so some of, the, some of the work that I've been doing to combat some of the issues that Alex was just talking about um, is to get is to get women and professors on board with editing Wikipedia um, around around the gender gap, and also just raising awareness um, in the academic and library community about the gender gap, because these um, these communities in these areas are really well suited to help us start to solve this problem. Um, among among other people who are working really hard on this issue too, it's it's not just me. Um, who, who is trying to think creatively about, about solving issues like these. Um, but some of the things that we've been able, been able to do is, is one, work with the library community, which is predominantly female, um, and getting these people to, or these women, to understand the gaps and how they can play a really in, important, crucial, and global role. Um, in solving these problems, but then also young women at universities too, who can who can really add this information and become lifelong learners and participants of the Wikipedia community um, to help to start to think about how we can how we can move away from from this problem again in really creative ways. I wanted, uh, this is Marilee, and I wanted to um, segue from what Kelly has been saying about um, communities being able to see themselves in Wikipedia to the, to the kind of critical role that libraries can play for their communities in terms of leading um, with information literacy and digital literacy. Um, Alex shared with me yesterday um, a survey that was done by um, uh, ICMA, um, the Public Library Association, and the Aspen Institute, uh, looking at how local libraries can advance community goals. And one of the very top results that came out of that um, is libraries' role in helping to lead with digital literacy for their communities. I think this is true regardless of library type. Um, I think that 
uh, teaching with Wikipedia and getting communities to engage with Wikipedia really helps to crystallize that issue of why um, quality sources are so important and what what actually makes for a quality source. I think it it's a very practical way to talk about um, digital literacy and information literacy in a way that's not dry at all. Uh, so I think if you can create community events that draw um, members of community in that interest people in gender gap issues or there's there's a whole bunch of uh, thematic um, editing uh, areas ar around Wikipedia. Um, there's uh, art plus feminism, there's Afro crowd, but really there's a lot of models for um, libraries to be able to create their own uh, editing focuses and draw the community in. And then as part of being uh, able to attract people to Wikipedia tied to their own particular local interests, there's also a great opportunity, I think, to talk about what makes for a great source. And there's been so much in the news about um, fake news, about poor sources, about what makes for a good source. I think that this is really a more critical skill for communities than, than ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is this is Phoebe. I'll I'll just say it, our goals in Wikipedia are totally totally aligned with I think what we think of as as library goals. As I said earlier, and um, you know, going back to what Jessamine said, there is there is a community of people who care a lot about accurate sourcing um, and accurate information and accurate articles who work on who work on Wikipedia. Um, it is it's not a free for all. It's a it's a working editorial community. Um, and so and so for libraries to join in on that, I think is is quite powerful. Um, so. Uh, it sounds like there was a request to demo editing again. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we want yes. to move into that or if there's other questions. Yeah, we did have one question that came in from our audience and wanted to see the steps to edit that Jessamine had showed previously. Um, if we want to, we can do a quick demo. I can switch over to her again and um, possibly also see um, the the talk page behind the behind the scenes that we were talking about. You should be able sure, to share your I'd screen. Be happy. Yeah to do this. Can somebody tell me how to get into the visual editor and I can show the visual editor version of this? Um, I think it's either so uh, it's, it's under editing, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's under editing now. Yeah. yeah. But let me okay. let me let me look while we do that. Um one one thing I wanted to highlight in terms of diversity uh, it, it's not it, like we we have you know all of those larger social diversities that were kind of like other knowledge communities we reinforce at times, um, but there's also like uh, stuff that you wouldn't conventionally think of as like not being diverse in in public knowledge. Um, Wikipedia has some huge gaps around like agricultural information, uh, um, various like practical topics too that um, if you're at like a technical college or um, if you're connected to you know organizations that want to share internationally these these kind of practical sets of information um, it's th there, there is an opportunity and it's quite low-hanging fruit. Did you figure out the We're just we're just looking because um, I can't tell if it, it's disabled for you or not, Jessamine, because you're. Um, let me zoom in and maybe I can tell. Um, oh, so uh, it's in the editing uh, tab of options, and then it's it, the okay. temporarily disable the visual editor while it is in beta. If you unclick that. Fascinating. Okay, great. Click it. So, yeah. well. And so, uh, if people are with me, sorry? Did you save the preference? Of course. Oh, okay. So, um, looking at Citation Hunt again, and again, Citation Hunt is great. The link is from the OneLib, OneRef page. You, can, you don't have to 
choose the one that delivers you. You can either say next, 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 find one that looks good, or search for a topic that is in your interest area. So this one, for instance, Canadian children's television series, The Big Comfy Couch, used a version of the alphabet song, uh, you know, A, B, C, D, whatever, in their episode. So I'm going to click, I got this, which just pops open a very long page, but kind of near where uh, near where this area is. Now, of course, this page has more than one uh, citation needed thing, so I can sort of decide if I want to pick one or the other. Now, this TV show I found from looking at IMDb is available in full on YouTube. So this is kind of just a demo, so I'm going to say that this, okay, it's in this show, I found out where it is. I'm going to go into Alphabet Song. I'm going to go to edit this one section of the page. And so it, I've changed the visual editor just so, um, just so people can sort of see what the visual editor looks like. Hold on one second. I sort of like the back-end editor only because it's a little speedier, but this one for a lot of people will let them sort of see what they're doing without all the, um, without all the sort of gobbledygook. So um, scrolling down, finding this citation needed, and then the pop-up here, very straightforward, Hey, there's a citation needed template. If I want to change that, there's a big friendly button. Okay, somebody, since I don't use the visual editor, can somebody tell me how to add well, a site with it? Yeah, so highlight yep. it, delete it, and then and go just to click the site up at the top where it's clicking. Great. Okay, got it. And then I can just drop the URL in there. I don't even have to copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And if I click generate, it makes the citation. It goes and looks things up, makes the citation from what I typed in. And if I click insert, it winds up being right there. And I can scroll down and see it here, uh, see it here in the bottom. It, it doesn't render in the ref list until you save. That's the only drawback of uh, Visual Editor. Oops, forgot to add one lib, one ref to the thing. But I'm going to probably undo this anyhow. But then you can see it down at the bottom, and it's just made my, made my edit uh, uh, down at the bottom and added it. So if you're comfortable with the formatting and digging in with the code, you can do it not using the visual editor. If you don't feel super comfortable with that, you don't mind being sort of guided through it with friendly buttons, the visual editor is super, super helpful. But Citation Hunt, I think, is the thing that anchors the whole thing together. It lets you kind of see that you're part of a community by how many people have been adding citations. And it lets you just kind of, well, I don't know about the history of Africa. I don't really know about clowns. I don't really know about Al Capone. Oh, maybe I do. I can look up the inventors of Tintin. Think about this. You can go find it in your library and cite it from actual print material if you don't want to go digging around something on the internet. I'm going to do this one next after we get off this call. <laughs> yeah, Jasmine, I, I just want to say I think um, some people, and I know I, I have been before this event, intimidated by put, doing anything in Wikipedia, making any changes or edits or saying I know something. Uh, but seeing you demo it, it's it's so easy. It, it shouldn't be afraid to just sit down and yeah, I mean, click through that citation hunt until you find something that you either do know, do know about or what you just said. I bet you we have that book somewhere. <laughs> and and one of the I bet things you I want to point that. out is it's it's not always like I don't always say easy, but I do say it's not complex. Like there's yeah. steps you can go through 
most of them are straightforward. Some of them involve a little bit of learning. But there's also a huge community of people who's happy to help you also. There's a lot of different places you can find them. You can contact any of us just sort of on Twitter or on the back end. You can make a mention on a talk page. Uh, there's a whole bunch of sort of discussion forums. There's wiki project libraries. There's the Wikipedia library itself where if you're, if you're not totally sure but you'd like to get started, you know, contact a real human being and ask for some assistance. Um, and as part of the campaign, uh, we put together a small workshop kit um, that, like, if you don't know a human that has edited a video before <laughs> and you're not comfortable soliciting advice from random people on the internet, um, work with your friends, <laughs> right? Uh, we can, uh, librarians are incredibly creative people uh, who are good at learning skills together and teaching each other. Um, the, the workshop kit is, uh, we, we called it the coffee kit. Uh, this year, and it's designed around, you know, getting you to learn about how to add citations with other librarians, and just make it simple and fun. Um, have some coffee, eat some cake, bring kittens, you know, <laughs> all the good stuff. <laughs> all right. Does anybody have any other questions that you want to ask of everyone before we do any uh, wrap-up of today's show? Type into the questions section now. Um, I'm going to pull back control to my screen here. Unless you were still showing some things, Jessamine, or No, no, no. I'm just adding my one lib, one ref tag and uh, Great. changing back to that. Um, and I did want to show um, on the session page for this um, here, uh, Jessamine did provide us with a document with instruct a handout on how to do this. So I've added it to the um, page here for today's show. Uh, just a PDF of the steps of what you can do, links to get started, um, contact information, so that could be helpful to people as well. And you can print it and hand it out to people if you think there might be people in your community who are interested, even if you're not doing a library-oriented thing. Yep, I did the PDF version here just quickly yesterday. We also have a Word uh, version as well, if you need that instead. Yeah. And uh, as Jasmine mentioned, I, this this activity of adding a citation to Wikipedia is a really good way to teach people how to use your library resources. So don't think that one lib one ref is just about the librarians adding references. Um, it's kind of a gateway or an opportunity to run programming that could involve other people. Um, I've seen the one lib one ref like instructions. Uh, basically picked up and put into freshman uh, writing classes, uh, workshops with members of the public, uh, workshops with faculty, like this is totally a, um, it, it works. It, it's teachable and it's kind of an easy way to get people thinking about how Wikipedia works. It right, doesn't look like anybody is typing any urgent questions at the moment. Nothing's popped up. Um, so any any of you guys, anything, any last minute things you want to say to uh, wrap up uh, your final words, so to speak? I just encourage people to get in touch with me if they've got other questions or just want to sort of chit chat about how to get involved. I'd be happy to talk. Sign up for more information on our on our webpage. Uh, we'd like to create a big and cohesive group of wiki librarians, and um, getting plugged into this project could be a great way to start building that. And I guess my final word is just that working on Wikipedia can be very fun, and um, you're part of this amazing, amazing thing. So hopefully, um, I would encourage you all to try it out and and add a few citations. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Um, let's see here. Checking over my... All right. Um, yes, Alex, Phoebe, Kelly, Jessamine, uh, Marilee, um, thank you, everyone, for um, attending today. This is a great um, panel we had here this morning. Um, as I said, I've always been using Wikipedia since it came out, whether people liked it or not, because I always find good things there. And I'm glad that we've got this you know, specific thing here, linking libraries to actually helping keep it up to date and being more involved in it and just not being afraid to just jump in there and use it and share it with and, uh, 
you know, tell tell your people in your library why it is good and what you can do with it. Um, so thank you everyone for um, being here this morning with us, and thank you all our attendees. Uh, the show. Um, has been, is being recorded, and will be available on our website uh, probably later this afternoon. Our um, On our main um, Encompass Live website, our archives go here right underneath our upcoming shows. So it will be posted over here as uh, I'm at the whim of uh, uh, YouTube and processing and whatnot. But as soon as it is available, I will email all of you and post on our website so you know that it is available there. Uh, included will be links, as I said, in our delicious account to all the different websites we've been looking at, the Wikipedia page, um, the IFLA paper, Citation Hunt I've got here, um, the uh, Web Junction um, classes coming up, so do um, look for all of those will be available in the recording um, when we get it posted. Uh, so look for that later this afternoon. Um, we do have our upcoming shows listed here on our webpage. As you can see, for next week, we, it says TBA is still to be announced. I'm in, in negotiations getting some final things finalized for next week's show, so I don't have the exact topic up, but you can you know, sign up if you want to. Or for our other upcoming shows, we're doing a session on bed bugs in the library. Yes, it happens. What you can you do? you need to do about that. Um, new statistical standards for archives and special collections and a metadata session um, about Omaha Public Library's digital collections are some of our topics coming up. And we're always adding new ones, so keep an eye on as I get things finalized, I add them here to our schedule. Um, Encompass Live is also on Facebook, so if you are a big Facebook user, do go over there. Um, I've got links from our Encompass Live page to get you there to like it. Um, give us a like. We post, um, post about when our new shows are coming in. Like here I did a reminder to log in today's show, when our recordings are available, um, we post on here. So uh, if you are big on Facebook, do give us a like over here and uh, keep up with us there. Other than that, that does wrap it up for this morning's show. Thank you very much everyone for attending. Thank you to all of our presenters and our speakers um, on our panel today. It was a great sh um, show. And we'll see you uh, next time on Encompass Live. Thanks Say for having bye. us. Bye. Bye. Bye and thank you.